Hello everyone, this is Daryl20, and welcome to episode 35 of Daryl20's Let's Play of FTB Skies, uh, where today I'm cleaning up a little bit of a mess uh, that my whole conveyor system uh, happened to get. Uh, I was getting a bunch of raw resources heading over here, uh, and what happened is I finished upgrading my boiler to level 8, and you might notice my tree farm is running a little bit faster than it was previously, um, as is these guys. Uh, so what's happening is because we got our boiler upgraded here to a higher tier, uh, the rotational force imparted by this guy is a lot faster than what it was before. Uh, and we never had a blocker on these guys to make sure that, you know, smelted resources were going through. We were kind of counting on, uh, <clears throat> the, the, the time it took for the resources to move across the belt. But now that the belt's moving faster... Uh, the resources were making it through there before they finished smelting. So I had to add uh, a little bit of a filter onto these guys. So, so I threw a tag filter on there with things like forge ingots and, you know, uh, stone and glass and that kind of stuff to make sure everything was going through. Uh, quick note, Iceneum, if you're, if you're doing something similar in your pack, does not have the forge ingot tag on it. So you need to add a uh, tag for that one specifically if you're doing an attribute filter like I did. So just wanted to note that little uh, situation that popped up and I dealt with. Uh, off camera in between episodes here and it looks like it's finished clearing out my backlog of mess because yeah he's pretty done i mean it was, that, that chest was full like it was it was pretty back stuffed because of uh you know stuff and things so now you can see that the uh the the raw metal there is stopping before it continues along pretty cool good deal not too shabby so uh, today's episode, what I want to do is start working on the fourth quest line in the end game chapter, and it's possible I'll have to, you know, jump into some other things. Not quite sure. I, I briefly looked at some of these. I don't know how crazy any of them were, but we'll find out what happens, right? So the next major thing we need is a hundred million RF uh, and a hundred buckets of ether gas. So I think I've got ether gas, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, a bit, not a ton, but a bit. Uh, enough for me to start collecting. So what I'm going to do is uh, switch this guy to ether gas, check mark him, and then we can throw down this guy with some ether gas, and that should be cool. Nice. Um, and then we'll just keep an eye on it. And I'm assuming what will happen is that it will eventually, uh, you know, fill up. Because we don't have a huge buffer of the ether gas. I forget exactly where it was sitting, but I think it was somewhere down here-ish, right? Yep, there it is. This dude, right? So the uh, the the uh, wither farm should be taking care of that for us. Let's go check on that, actually, because it's been a little bit. So let's get our shrinky dude, personal shrinking device, and into the wither farm we shall go. Where's my wither? my weather go grumble 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 i'm gonna have to make a new weather i don't know where he went but life goes on yeah that's weird i have no idea where he went actually boy that is really hard to navigate with that slowness effect on yeah. See if I can manage this. Nope. Is that correct? That looks right. That's weird. Where'd my extra tinted glass go? Meh. You know, it might have got vacuumed up or something. I don't know. Either way, uh, we should be cool now in producing ether gas. 
Let's go home and see if that's true. So if it's working, uh, we should be slowly but surely adding ether gas here. If not, I have to troubleshoot that thing a little bit, which I thought was working pretty smoothly, but 13.64? Yeah, that is slow. Let's get some... Did I have add-ons in there? I forget if I had add-ons uh, up in crafting, but when I back when I made this thing. Nope. Well, that'll help. So let's get like 10 of you. Like 10 of you. And like 10 of you. Ugh! We're short on diamonds? I'll get three of you. But actually, yeah, that's a little concerning that we're so, so short on diamonds. Uh, we may need to amp up certain resource production. I did not think I was low on any resource, but I guess diamonds kind of makes sense that we would be low on it. I mean, I have, I have a few more in block form, but yeah, we're going to have to solve that trouble, aren't we? Definitely. So you are slowly... Yeah, see, look how slow that progress is. That is, that is painfully slow. So then we've got processing. How am I going to get more diamonds, do you think? That's a good question. I could get into, let's see, for diamonds. Uh, if we want more of these, right, we could get into occultism to do the dimensional mineshaft thing. I remember that being pretty good. Um, we could laser drill it up. You know, or we could uh, amp up our sifting and speed it up a little bit. In fairness, it is sped up right now. Uh, but we probably need to speed it up more because I think we're probably sifting faster than we're producing at this point. So I might look into that. How's this looking? Pretty good. If I'm not mistaken. Oh, okay. I think only two of these matter. Okay. That should be cool. All right. Now we're cooking. And we only get 10 mil buckets every operation there, but it should slowly but surely add up here. And if it becomes not fast enough, then we'll deal with it. Because we have a few things to do before we're really ready to kick off this next dude, right? Um, so we need 100 million RF. I believe that might be, like, the absolute limit of how much our power storage can be right now. Uh, and what I'm thinking I might do is we got some induction stuff, like, a lot of induction stuff, the top tier induction stuff, as part of a quest reward. So we could make an induction casing real quick. Uh, and start, you know, doing that. And you know what's cool about this? By getting these as a quest reward, I don't have to do the lithium stuff. So I can skip lithium, at least for now. I'm sure there's a quest that needs it, and at some point we'll have to handle that. But, just saying, that's kind of cool. So let's throw together a quick power storage guy. Because uh, I know we're going to need that. But then the next chapter is going to be 100 billion RF. So we want to start saving up now, right? Like we want, that's a lot of RF. Uh, so we really need to start, you know, doing something there. So if I wanted to do, let's say, um, so I've got eight uh, things to put in the center there. So we need a three by three internal, uh, which would be a five by five external, right? So 25, 50, and then 12. So 62. Um, and then we also want the size, actually. So, uh, yeah, we're going to need, like, 70-ish. And we're probably going to want at least two of these. Shouldn't be too bad to throw together. Do I want to put this in, like, the sub basement -y area or what? Uh, no, I think I'll put it... Maybe just stick it back here somewhere. That should be fine. Right? Because we want a 3x3 three three internal. Oh, that would be too big, right? Yeah, we don't need a 3x3 three three internal. What am I talking about? That's way too big. Uh... What if I just did this? You ready?
Now we'll probably need to get that rainbow style generator, the mycelial reactor, up and running uh, to power this whole thing. But I think overall we should be all right um, to at least start this process, right? So let's get a um, input and export going on. Is this across a chunk boundary? No. Hey, good job, direwolf. Good job, direwolf. Yay for me. I was not ignoring the fact that chunk boundaries exist for, well, I was, I just got very lucky. <laughs> Let's be honest, I got lucky. Um, so what we've got over here is just gonna move, right? So we're gonna have uh, flux point um, receiving on the generator to the network and then outputting to the main network, right? So you're gonna be receiving from the generator's network and then you're gonna be uh, outputting to the main network and then you should be building up RF at this point but he probably has a backlog of stuff that he lost power on so give him a sec okay um, and let's have you output with a plug To the generators network because you are technically generators at this point, right? There we go. So now you're draining, you're receiving, you're going to fill up with that buffer, and then you should be getting a new, you know, a net gain of power going on. And then down here, you guys are just still running happily, right? With plenty of nether stars. Yup, plenty of nether stars. I should amp up the nether star stuff that I've got. Um, let's do uh, let's do a diamond upgrade on that one. Right? Looking good? We still have a net gain coming in, but that's probably because this thing's still draining. What I'll do is once he's fully empty, I'll take him away. And then we'll swap him with this. There you go. And now the the charcoal generators and the solar power things will be going straight into the flux plug. Sweet. That works for me. And how are you doing, buddy? A steady input of 8,000 RF a tick, and hopefully that's a net gain-ish. Why does it feel like a net loss-ish? No. Why does it feel like we're, you know, rapidly losing RF here? Oh, I know why. Because you're filling up. <laughs> There's your problem. <laughs> that thing in my hotbar was filling up. There you go. Now we're not gaining. I was gonna say I didn't think we were, we were we were losing RF, but yeah, no, that makes sense. I always forget that something in my hotbar is gonna get charged, and then it's usually something giant like a hundred million RF cube. All right, so now that we've got uh, the 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 power storage going, and you're cruising right along, right? That'll just take a few minutes. Uh, let's start looking at what's gonna be next for us. Um, uh, we could get you know. Some swift alloys, some terra steel, some dash ingots. Dash, we're gonna have to get off of. Uh, I believe the moon has dash. Is that right? Uh, from Ad Astra. Uh, let's see. Rover cables, lunarians, Mars. We could pop up to the moon, right? We could pop up to the moon. And go find some dash because we're gonna need it for the next quest right so while this is all sitting here doing its stuff we could go do that let's let's do that i like that idea to the stars right so uh land on the moon rover tier two rocket aries netherite space suit mercury venus jet suit i'm just looking to see if there's a dash thing going on here underground you can find dash ore, which is integral to progression you can also rarely find dungeons and lunarian villages right so the moon is where we want to go uh so let's get our space suit re-equipped Okay, and also be prepared 
Do 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 do. Hundred percent. Nice. Uh, let's get a receiver. Right, and we want a uh, a moon. You know, doohickey. So I'm gonna put away my creative blaze cake, which, by the way, I have four blazes running underneath that boiler right now. Uh, you guys can chill in here for the time being. And let's remember these slots. Perfect. Okay, what don't I need right now? I don't need my infinity wand. You can go into my backpack. Uh, I've got my mana tablet. That's cool. Shrinking device can go away. You can go away. You guys and you uh, can disappear. Look at all this time I have on my time stuff. Loving it all the time. And then flux points, and I call that pretty good. Uh, we might want torches of some kind, and isn't there like a... I think soul torches work in uh, on the moon kind of deal. We'll bring a few of them, and remember, we have infinite range on this, so we can make more stuff if we need to. Perfect. All right, so I've got a meta receiver to teleport back to the moon. I've got the flux point to receive energy for it. I've got... Always do a checklist before you leave. I've got a backup rocket, a launch pad, and some fuel buckets if I need them. Uh, oxygen tanks, good to go. Uh, yeah, I think we're cool, right? I don't think there's any reason we can't go, you know, launch to the moon. Uh, let's get a few extra buckets of rocket fuel before we leave. And another launch pad. Because I want to bring them with me. And, uh... You know, I thought I made one of those. Did I leave them over here? That's what I did. I knew I made, like, a bunch of iron plates. I left them on the thing. All right, so we've got an extra launch pad and rocket fuel to get home now if we so need it. Uh, let's launch, right? Boom. No fuel. Well, there's your problem. I didn't fuel it last time I left. Cool. There we go. Now we have extra fuel. And let's go. Off to the moon! So our main goal here is dash ingots. And if I have to do a mechanism miner to make that easier, I will. Uh, we should be able to craft a mechanism miner remotely. I don't see why we couldn't. I think we've got everything we would need on auto craft. And, uh, yeah, that should be cool. And I love how cool, I love how cool this rocket ship thing is. So good. Solar system, Earth, the moon. Wait, lunar wastes. Quest completed the moon. Now remember, when you get low, don't forget to hold space to slow down. I kind of wonder what will happen if you don't, but meh, I don't wonder it that much. There we go. Nice. There's my rocket. Goodbye, you. Uh, let's place down a new launch pad. Put the rocket on it. Right, we can refuel it to get home. Uh, we'll set up our matter receiver here as well. Okay. The moon! Nice. Right, so now I can teleport back and forth courtesy of RF tools. All right. Not too shabby. Man, look at look at the jump height that I get on this place. That is crazy. Is that dash? I can't tell. That is soul soil. Okay, never mind. Not what I was looking for. All right. Do I get a quest reward, by the way, for doing this? I got some cheese. All right. Delicious. Hello, corrupted Lunarian. Now, I think if I remember, there's villages and stuff, right? But then there's also some nice little caves that we can explore. I should really get a projectile torch spell going on from uh, 
from whatchamacallit, from Ars Nouveau. Moon cheese. Yeah, it's going to be dark down here without, you know, too much lighting. It's pretty dark in general. Uh, you know what I just got? Night vision goggles. You think that would be cool? That goes onto the head slot. Oh, hello. Is that helpful? YouTube audience? That looks pretty good, I feel like. Can see a lot better now. I like that. Oh man, that's really good, actually. Look at how good that is. Yeah, I think night vision goggles on our planets, it's gonna be key. And luckily I have the whole break blocks when you're flying enchant going on because that would be super annoying. All right, where am I gonna find Dash? Is that some? Nope, that's Moon Iron. That is Ice Shards. I remember them being useful for something. That might be Dash. Yep, there you go. Dash, got it, boom. All right, I think that's cool, right? So now, if we pop home, no problemo. 21 buckets, by the way, of ether gas going on. And then we teleport dial once to the moon. Just testing to make sure it works. And it does. Nice. All right. Uh, so what I think I'll do now, let's look for uh, something like this. That's cool. These are like the peaceful Lunarians, right? Like the villager-esque dudes. Let's see what kind of stuff is in uh, in this area. Hello, dash plating, grindstone type stuff. Hello, Lunarian. Moonstone bricks. Ooh, speed multiplier. That's cool. Do you guys also get the reset trait thing? You do. That's nice. All right. See? Uh, the the better villagers or easy, easy villagers mod lets you quickly cycle uh, dudes who have, a, who have a profession. Unemployed. Nope. Do they also let me do this? Ha! <laughs> they do. Oh, and then he turns into a regular villager. Well, that's not ideal. <laughs> that's not ideal. That's not what I wanted to have happen. Sorry, villager. Sorry, villager. I was just curious how easy villagers would work out. It was like, nope, I I do not recognize. Do not recognize those dudes. I'll take diamonds because clearly I need it. Smith Lunarians. Okay. And then a bunch of y'all sleeping. I do not have a job. There we go. You think it's a coincidence that I got a lunar gem just now, or is that just like a, a an odd coincidence or what? All right, so that's enough moon exploration for now. What I'm going to do, uh, for reals, is get a mechanism digital miner. Okay, let's get this guy cooking up. So we're going to need a robot with a bunch of stuff. Going to need some logistical transporter stuff. One. Two, and then a rabbit.
And then we also need those teleportery things, which I don't know if we have ever taught it how to make, so I'll make it now. Okay. That should be pretty good. Digital miner. Awesome. And mechanism. Let me have you, you, and an anchor upgrade, if you don't mind. That way uh, we can, you know, diamond dust is what? A crusher? Okay. We should know how to make this so that, well, I mean, I could also just do that. You know, let me just make one manually. There's no need to auto craft that. I thought I had, oh, it's earth charge. Never mind. I thought that was a fire charge. It looked kind of like one. Crushing factory. Okay. And you can probably go in here. Dial up the moon once. I'm also going to see if it is diamond one. Right? Uh, so let's reset you. We're going to um, do our upgrades thing. Boom. Boom. And boom. And that should be cool. And then config. Dash is going to be forge ores slash dash. New tag filter, forge ores dashed with a T, right? No, no T. Wasn't there another mod that had it with a T? I feel like there was. Um, radius will be 32, which is the max, right? Yes. Uh, men will be 64. Max will be 100-ish. Where am I standing right now? 109. Okay, let's do 150 then. And I'll also do uh, forge. Is it gems or is it ore? I think it's ores. Forge ores. Diamond. Yes. And what I think I'm going to do is let's have you do Silk Touch, if you can. Cool. And then a Flux Point. And start. Works for me. I'll just be curious to see if diamonds show up, right? And then I can break those with my fortune. Because fortune applies to this stuff, right? I think so. I ate the cheese already? Yeah. Cool. Alright, let's come back in a minute once it's mined up all the dash ore that we're going to need. Now we're having some power problems. We might be needing more power at this point. Are we choking? We are out of power. Yes, we are. Okay. Good to know. So I think our next episode is going to have to be working on that generator, the mycelial generator. So let's stop, reset, config. I'm just going to remove you for a sec because I feel like that's probably enough dash to get started. Uh, and let's start it up. Nothing to mine. Okay. Good to know. No diamonds on the moon. Uh, now, what I think I'd like to do, do I want to launch back? You know what, I'm just going to take my rocket back with me. I can do that, right? Yeah, why not? You're with me, rocket. Man, that's a big rocket. All right, so clearly not enough power to keep this thing running. Um... What I could do then is I think I'll just I think I'll just smelt this stuff. Um, let's do I got a builder builder's wand. Look how many infinity ones I have. It's actually a little bit crazy. Hmm. 
Not too shabby. Yeah. And then into the smelting factory you all can go. I could get an elite tier installer. Probably doable at this point, right? I feel like that one needs a muffling upgrade, right? Smelting Factory is definitely one of the most egregious when it comes to noise. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's so much better. Beautiful. Okay, so with that cooking now, we should have enough dash for the next quest when we're ready to hand it in. But the 100 million RF that we need is definitely a struggle. Because uh, we're, we're struggling-ish on power. Like, it's not great, right? We're doing okay, but we definitely need more. So I think next episode, we definitely want to work on the mycelial reactor bit. I think that's our plan, right? Let's start thinking about how we're going to get this thing up and running. So as a reminder, what we need to do for the mycelial reactor, we need all the foregoing reactors um, or generators or, or these guys, mycelial, uh, to be running at once. So we need like furnace, slime, culinary, potion. We need like all of these running. So I think what I'll do is next episode, we'll start making these. We'll start setting up their automations and we can spend an episode or two getting these all up and running. And I think that would be fun. Uh, for now, though, I think it is also wrapping up point. So Daryl Toy sign off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I'm going to go refill my oxygen here. Uh, I think that's here where I want it. Yes. Cool. And that's 100% full. So that's nice. Cool. Uh, we'll come back next time and uh, take a look at doing my cereal reactor. For now, take it easy.